here's the first point that we uh, want to take a look at today. Um, so what we have here is a 5-0 match between Marcin Rospetsky and Kyle Yates. This was a few years ago um, in Arizona, but I really like the quality of this video. I think that it gives a good um, uh, angle to the view of play, and you can really look at a lot of the strategy that these two players are having here. So the point that I want to look at is um, I want you to focus on Marcin. He uh, is returning serve here, and what he does throughout the point, I think, really closes off angles as he's coming in right off the return, and it's a really great point to look at um, for us as singles players. So let's take a look at the clip first, and then we'll break it down. All right. So seems like a pretty simple point, right? But there's a few things here that he does really well that I think sets it all up for him and why he's able to win this point. So let's find it again here. So first off, let's look at Kyle Yates' serve. It hits right in this area here. So he's going towards Rosbetsky's forehand, which maybe he found something uh, in the early part of the match. Maybe he's looking for a little um, weakness on one of the sides. But what... Rospetsky does here is he takes that forehand and instead of trying to come over it and go back cross court or something like that, he uh, does a nice cut slice up the line and makes an approach. So he comes straight in and see where he's at in the court here. He is covering the down the line and he knows that since he sliced it that that ball is going to be tremendously difficult to lift over and come over onto this side. Uh, to make this cross court pass. So what he's doing is he's covering the right angles here. Okay, so he guessed correctly and this ball is coming up the line. You can see his split step here and he gets down low. But what he does is most people would try and say, oh look at this big open cross court. Okay, but that's not exactly what he does. Because this ball is hit pretty well, what he does is he goes right back up the line. And what that does there is it makes Kyle have to hit another difficult passing shot. So he's closed off the angles yet again. The only the only shots that Kyle really has at a high percentage is to go right back down the line here, or, which is already harder because the net's a little bit higher here, so that's a difficult pass, and he's covering it here. So what Kyle then can do is hit this really kind of dipping or even like a, uh, like a drop shot kind of into this court which then sets him up poorly again. So what seems counterintuitive that Rosbetsky does here and volleys right back to him is actually a very intelligent play, and we'll see how it works out here for him. So you can see there that he placed one volley back up the line to cut off Kyle's angles, and then Kyle has to hit this really less than perfect passing shot. And that's what kind of sets up for Marcin here. So there's the first volley where he goes back to him. See how this ball is like, it's way up high because Kyle had to come back. He was expecting the cross court. He had to come back and kind of lift this ball up the line. And it's an easy cross court there because he had him pinned in this corner. So I think that that's just a really smart point by uh, Rosbetsky here that maybe doesn't look like... Um, it took a lot of thought or a lot of uh, strategy. Alright, so here we go. We have another point between uh, Rosbetsky and Yates again, except this is in the 2016 U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Uh, this time we have uh, Rosbetsky serving, so I wanted to get a point on return and on serve so that you can see the difference between the two. Uh, we're going to play the point out first and then kind of go through and analyze each one of the decisions made and uh, where the angles are cut off. Okay, so we'll watch it through first. All right. Pretty great point there. Uh, Rosbetsky was getting all pumped up. Um, so there's a key, a couple key little little areas on this point. So Seven, we're gonna look at where 
Marson serves it. You can see it's pretty deep, pretty close to the line on that backhand side for Kyle. So what that does is it forces Kyle to kind of chop at it and not be able to get his weight forward and come in uh, to the net and start to dominate the point. So it's a great serve and it really starts uh, Rosbetsky off right. So you can see Kyle kind of pops this up and that lets Marson then get a good forehand slice up the line and kind of keep the ball low and have uh, himself approach the net first, which is huge in this game. As if, you, if you're the first to dominate the net, you're going to win the point a huge percentage of the time. So his serve set him up to be the first one into the net. That's great. Um, so on this first ball, you can see Kyle kind of was moving to the open court and had to come back uh, just like in the other point. He had to come back to the uh, up the line to cover this ball and it kind of puts the ball a little higher. So then you can see that Marson then has a nice good forehand volley that he can put into the open court and keep Kyle kind of on the run not able to get back into the point. Now Kyle hits a pretty good on the run forehand here that makes Marson kind of have to get down and hit a pretty good cross court volley. And that ball there is really good from Kyle, actually. So Marson gets that nice uh, cross-court volley there and makes Kyle keep running. But Kyle kind of puts it into the kitchen there and makes it really difficult. Uh, it kind of neutralizes the point out a little bit and makes it hard on Rosbetsky to, to stay and control the point. But what is really good here, and let's back up and watch it one more time, is Marson's footwork on getting this ball that's in the kitchen. So you can see that here's that volley. And see how he stays, he stays on this line so well. He takes three or four little kind of small steps that's waiting for that ball to bounce and kind of get him in the perfect spot to hit this up the line and keep Kyle running. And there Kyle is forced to hit a high kind of lob, not really good, didn't make a good decision shot. Um, and then uh, Rosbetsky is able to hit that backhand overhead at a sharp angle kind of into the kitchen and there's no way. The, ba the ball's just not going to bounce high enough for Kyle to get there. So it's a really well constructed point from Marson. Kyle had a few chances there maybe with that ball that he drops into the kitchen to kind of get back into it. But uh, the, the footwork and the split steps from Rosbetsky really just kind of like uh, enabled him to keep the point. So I think it's a really great point to look at. Um, uh, strategy wise because it helps us to see you know he was staying with the ball he's moving throughout the court so that he can stay in this you know cone pattern that Kyle can hit from each uh, each shot so we're gonna take a look at a few more videos uh, later this this month probably I'm gonna try and do one of these videos every two weeks or so so maybe two a month where I go through and I just kind of look at different um, professional matches and pick out a few of the points that I think are really just well constructed and intelligent plays that we can use in our own. So with these two videos, what I want you to work on uh, for your singles game is to really think about your opponent's options in each ball that you hit. So like when we saw um, him cutting off the angles at the net, think about what they can actually do because then you're going to be able to read the next shot way better and uh, you're going to be able to anticipate and hit a better shot against them. So just kind of keep in mind where uh, where you're placing the ball and what your opponent can actually logically do with it because some people think that they, uh, they have to stay in the middle of the court because they have to cover every single option and that's not the case at all. As you can see here, there's only a few shots that Kyle can really hit against Marson when he hits a good approach shot. So if you cover that cone, that little area that he's sitting to, you're going to do great. So just keep that and we'll, uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.